Shavuotov. Uh, and uh, the letter today was written to somebody in London. This was about 40 years ago. Uh, and he asks the Lubavitcher Rebbe about living in Hebron. Um, and the Rebbe answers, answers as follows. Ever since the liberation of Hebron in 1967, and particularly in more recent years up to the present time, it has been my policy to give the same answer to all who have inquired as to my opinion and advice about settling in the city of our avot, of our patriarchs. And my answer is that given what I know of the measures so far taken to ensure the security of Jewish settlers there, I cannot, I am sorry to say, take upon myself the responsibility of advising any Jew to settle there. Isn't that extraordinary? It is painful indeed to have to say that the situation there has deteriorated even further in recent years. My advice as above was given even when the question came to me from an individual or a single family. It would certainly be even more emphatic when the question concerned a concerted action by groups and the like, since this would provoke so much more of a hostile reaction. At the same time, for several reasons, I've always required that this reply of mine not be publicized, since there's always hope that there might perhaps be a radical change in the attitude of the government which is responsible for security in that region. And also I do not want to inspire fear among those who already settled there. And certainly I do not wish my opinion to be misconstrued by the terrorists and taken as an encouragement to keep our fellow Jews out of the holy city of Hebron. In keeping with the above, I trust that you will similarly keep this letter confidential. But 40 years later, it is permissible, of course, to uh, don't know what the situation is there today. But isn't it interesting that when, when he was asked about South Africa, which seemed to be a pretty dangerous situation, he was absolutely emphatic, no, you should remain in South Africa. There's no reason to, no, no reason to leave. When he was asked about Rhodesia, he said, I'm not 100% certain, I don't know. We don't know about Rhodesia yet. Uh, and when it came to Chevron, the answer is categorically, I can't take the responsibility. So this was not just, you know, a man who said, yes, 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 you better, it's, when there was a real risk to the life of Jews, he, he would not take the responsibility. We have another letter for our morning group in a moment, but that's all for us today. Call Yisrael.